I now do raffles on my Instagram daily, so if you're into that kind of stuff and want to join a future one, shoot my Instagram a follow. It's jcresells559. Same exact name as my YouTube name. Thank you guys for the support, and I hope to see you in the future raffle. What's going on everyone? Today I have a $1,000 box from City Stars. Usually I get a $2,000 box from them, but they offered me this lower one, lower priced one. So I said, yeah, I'll take it. Hopefully there's some good profit in it with some pretty good shoes still. But yeah, based off the size of the box, it looks like at the most it could fit six shoes in here. The box wasn't very heavy, so I'm not expecting too many pairs in here. But let's get straight into this. I think it's been a while since... I bought a $1,000 box off them. But here's how it's looking. So I'm gonna go start off with this. The box is pretty damaged. Looks like someone tried taping it up. It's actually very damaged. But anyways, it's a size seven and a half dunk low. Cool box paper is gonna be one of the lottery dunks. I'm gonna guess it's the gray one. And I already see the green, Never mind. So it's gonna be the green lottery dunks. Here it is. Honestly, I actually like these better than the gray ones. Just my opinion. Um, I'm pretty sure these go for a lower price though. But still a good looking shoe. Good colorway. You can see. Comes with this. Then the insole looks pretty cool. So this isn't a bad first shoe at all. Like I said, I really like the colorway on this. The design on it. But yeah, let's see what these are going for. And these dunks in a size seven and a half, they're going for about 150. So not a bad start, but let's go on. Let's go with this, another Nike box. This is going to be a size, another seven and a half in men's. It's a night in the women's. And it's gonna be, not the laser orange, it's like the peaches color, more of a peach colorway. Um, I actually got this in the past. I think market was pretty low on them. They were going for around 130, 140. But still a nice looking shoe. I think it was the orange creamsicle though, is what they were called. But yeah, this is the second shoe though. Never mind, they're just called the peach cream. And a nine and women's market's actually pretty low on them. They're going for 115. So 115 for that. 265 with the first two dunks. Let's go with this. I believe it's gonna be a Jordan 13. And an older label, size nine. Oh, it's a good one. It's the Chicago, not Chicago, the, yeah, Chicago Jordan 13s. It's funny because I actually got the same exact shoe the other day in a size 10 and it's sitting right there. So I'm gonna have two pairs of these. You don't get these quite often, especially brand new. The size 10 was going for 245 when I got it. So let's see what a size nine is going for. In a size 9 for the Chicago 13s, going for about 250 So 250 for that, that puts me at 515 So I'm officially over halfway of the price that I paid. With four more shoes to go. Let's go with this. I have a lot of these. This is size 11. I actually have another size 11 right here. Oh no, right here. So I'm going to have two of the same size for these. Pretty sure market for them is going for about 280 But still a good shoe. Jordan for Thunders. And they're brand new. And size 11. They're actually going for a little more than I thought. I'm just going to run it up to 290. It's a good shoe. It's a good Jordan 4. So 290. That puts me at 805. <clears throat> so I'm about 200 away from what I paid. Still got three more shoes to go. Easy slide. Size 12. Let's see which colorway it is. It's going to be the blue colorway. So this is a good one. Um... Pretty sure market dropped on these though. I think they're going for about 100, 120 ish. But it's a good size. I believe these will move really, really fast. Yeah, size 12. They're at 115. So 115, I am at 920 now. So $80 away. Five shoes in. Two more shoes to go. Uh, I'm probably going to save the Jordan 1 shoe for last. Let's go with this Jordan 11 low in a size 9.5. And has a receipt, but here's the shoe. Shows a number 30 right there. Are these? They're brand new. Um, I don't know. Not really the biggest fan of these. I don't really like how the uppers right here looks. Kind of makes it look old, but yeah, this is the second to last shoe overall, though. Don't know what market will be on it, but let's check it out. 
So this is actually called the Georgetown Jordan 11 Lowe's. There's a big difference between asking bid. Last sale was 345, which is actually surprising to me. More recent sales, 250, 260, some over 300. I don't know, like I said, it's, I think it's gonna be a tougher shoe to sell. I'm gonna mark it at 260, just in between asking bid and based off the recent sale. But either way, that already puts me at 1180. So that's 180 in profit with still one more shoe. So either way, it's gonna be a really good box, really good profit. Here it is, a Jordan 1 High, size nine and a half. And there's the, what the, shadows? So, I don't know yet, I don't think, so now that I'm seeing this shoe, I don't think that's a part of the box, just because we talked about something, I'm not gonna get into that, but maybe that's not in, that's not supposed to be in the box, that's the separate deal we had. I'll DM them everything. I'll keep you guys updated, but, Dang, here's the last shoe though, that I believe that's supposed to be for this box. Um, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated, but here's the last shoe overall for right now. Shadow Jordan 1s. Okay, yeah, I just DM'd them. This was not a part of the box. This was a separate deal that we had, so take that out. And then I said those were going for about 290, so... Let's take out 290 from our total. So that's where we're at with these shoes. Or not these shoes without this the shadows right now nine and a half going for about 340 so let's add in 340 that adds up to 1230 which is about 230 in profit 23 percent roi which is really good all the shoes are brand new and for the most part i think most of them will be pretty easy to sell except for the 11s we'll see what i could do with those but yeah that's the mystery box one thousand dollars from the sneaker store city stars let me see what you guys think of the box. Leave it down in the comment section below. If you ever want to buy any of these off me, just hit me up on Instagram. It's JC Resales 559 That's where I post all these shoes for sale. The same day that I get these boxes in, the inventory in. So just hit me up on there if you ever want to buy shoes off me. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. Thank you everyone for watching. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel. Leave a like on the video. And I'll see you guys next time. I now do raffles on my Instagram daily, so if you're into that kind of stuff and want to join a future one, shoot my Instagram a follow. It's jcresells559, same exact name as my YouTube name. Thank you guys for the support, and I hope to see you in the future raffle.